And I think Puerto Rico is going to make a pitching change. They will. Brianna Sanchez will come out of the circle. New York has taken the lead here in the bottom of the fifth. Want to know why no one... New York is here. They have taken the lead here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Puerto, Le Puerto Rico have led since the first. And now with runners on the corners, Carla Rodriguez will step into the circle to relieve Brianna Sanchez. Rodriguez throws in the low 50s. Has a knuckle changeup that we might see. A good changeup that she throws and puts down, puts down a knuckle. So it's Eden Tessarere who had the RBI single to tie it up. She is at third, and Ava Rios at first via the walk for Mia Victor. The bunt, bringing home another one. Great execution by Mia. Outstanding execution. Mia Victor knows what she needs to do. She knows her job is, is to put that bump down with her teammate at third, and she's going to get it down to the right side, and that's the key. No opportunity for Rodriguez to even come home. They get the out at first for Puerto Rico, but another big run-up on the board for New York. Jocelyn Vandenberg, Nevis is having to hustle to find that softball. It's been a problem for Puerto Rico as that puts a runner on third. The base running by Rios. She sees that down and able to get herself to third base. Look how New York is being aggressive within this inning called that squeeze play. Another trying to put it down to do a little safety squeeze, or maybe that was a squeeze where she got the lead. Notice that it wasn't put down, dives back to third base. Really aggressive, showing off the, the speed that they have in the inning. Two balls and a strike to Jocelyn Vandenberg. This New York team has seen everyone in the lineup step up. It was the bottom of the lineup, including Ina Tessarere, who had an RBI single here to tie it, that helped them win state. That's probably the, the biggest swing of the game was Tessarere. Timeout was called, first pit, and then as she saw her first pitch of her at bat, and a strikeout for Carla Rodriguez, her first. She is able to get an out here. Goes up in the zone and gets Vandenberg to stretch her zone. Two out, runner on third for Emerson Moore. Nevis her throw to third, nobody there to grab it off target. More insurance for this New York team. It's gonna be Ava Rios who is able to score and Nevis is trying to do a little too much in this inning. Emerson Moore hit by the pitch. Things unraveling here for Puerto Rico as we go back to the top of the order for the third time with Alexis Fontana. Four runs on two hits for New York in this inning. Two scored on wild pitches, one on an error. The flares in the inning for Puerto Rico. And this is what New York did very well against Connecticut in game one here at the World Series. Seven errors by Connecticut. They took advantage. They only had three hits, but the key is, is they scored the runs they needed to win. Take a look at that there. Just a couple of the hits, but taking advantage of the errors. 
Chandler some more trying to beat Nieves to make another throw. You can see she's getting a big lead, kind of trying to play a little game with her on the base pass. There goes Allison Moore. The ball pops out of Kanisco Rodriguez's glove. So Emerson is good to go at second. Going base. Every run that you can get in this inning, an insurance run headed to the sixth inning where Puerto Rico will just be three outs away from potentially losing this game. Not an elimination game, though. Important to note, the loser will play tomorrow. The winner plays Saturday. We already saw Texas advance to Saturday earlier today. That set up our first game tomorrow, which will be North Carolina versus North Carolina. The rivalry. They have not played each other this season. Did not meet up in the state tournament. 2-2. Well, we started with 12 teams. I mean, we didn't know for sure that we were to see these two North Carolina teams play each other, but I have a feeling they want to play each other. Well, they told us. Yeah. The Pitt County team, the Southeast team, told us they want nothing more than to play Roanne, the host. <laughs> two strikeouts for Carla Rodriguez. But look at New York. Able to take the lead. They finally answer in the bottom of the fifth inning. They put up a four spot, aggressive base running, and taking advantage of some Puerto Rico miscues. Matched it right back up the middle. And then taking advantage of some Puerto Rico miscues. And New York was able to tie the game and then take the lead for the first time in the bottom of that last inning. It all started with that at pat from Eden Tessarere. Well, it started with Emma Brown leading off the inning, but the key hit, Eden Tessarere with the RBI single to tie it. Yeah, aggressive early in the count. And at first she was like, are, you guys are always in that in that huddle. She was like, you guys are yelling at me. And then it seemed a little bit tight. And then went up to the back, went up to, into the box and swung at the first pitch and got the RBI that tied it, a huge swing. I, I eat them in that yeah. AB. And, and that's huge because the winner of this game plays on Saturday. They get tomorrow off. Again, the loser of this game is not out. It's double elimination, so still an opportunity to play tomorrow. But you win this game, definitely doing yourself a favor. Cruising on to Saturday semifinals. You're asking right now for that rosin bag that is Puerto Rico's rosin bag to be brought back into the dugout. We have seen, though, earlier in the World Series that there were two rosin bags, Courtney, in yeah. the circle at one time. So, no way. It was very hot. Definitely needed. Giannelli Santana. And then we got one of those there at first. 